Hi everybody and welcome to the latest of the TED Talks for Hearts Middlesex Wildlife Trust. Um, my name is Matt and I'm going to be doing the talk this evening on the wonderful world of bats. Now the more observant of you will realise that this video is not what it normally is uh, and that's because we're using a thermal imaging camera. Uh, now a thermal imaging camera is a perfect way of seeing nocturnal animals because it picks up on their body heat and so occasionally behind me you'll be able to see these little flashes of light and that is in fact the bats uh, flying past and the camera picking up on the heat of their body. Now you might be surprised at how agile and quick they are and sometimes probably more numerous than you might think. Um, now bats are like the Marvel superheroes of the animal kingdom. Uh, they, they have lots of incredible adaptations for the lifestyle that they lead. Um, the most obvious of these obviously is flight but there are an awful lot of other ones that go with it and I'm trying to give you a little taste tonight of those amazing um, those amazing abilities that they have. Now probably uh, the one that goes along with flight that is most amazing is is their use of echolocation. Now bats can fly in total darkness and find tiny little prey items like gnats and avoid things like spiders webs and foliage in the middle of a woodland. Now how do they do that? So the echolocation is the key and basically echolocation is when a bat shouts as loud as it possibly can and then listens for the echo as it comes back and in this way they can form a sound picture of the environment around them. Now if that wasn't incredible enough when you realise how loud they shout it adds a whole new level to it. So a noctual for example which is one of our biggest bats shouts uh, at a decibel level that's the same as a road drill. Now if you imagine standing next to a road drill how would you ever hear an echo from beyond that sound? Well bats have an incredible way of doing this and that's to do with the fastest moving muscle in the animal kingdom. Now there's a little bone in your ear which is attached to your eardrum and if this and that's how you hear but the vibrations it picks up the vibrations in the air and that's how you hear things. So and bats in this country have a, an incredible adaptation and that is every time they emit a pulse of echolocation a muscle pulls this bone off the eardrum and then in perfect synchronicity to its echolocation calls it puts it back on the eardrum in between each of the shouts. Now with a pipistrelle, some of the bats you see behind you this can be up to 12 times a second so that's 12 times a second this little muscle is going like the clappers putting the, the bone which is called a hammer putting the bone back onto the eardrum. Um, now that's pretty cool. Um, now the other thing that bats can do is because the sound that they emit is so energy intensive, if they were to do that all night that would be utterly exhausting. So they've, they've evolved a way of avoiding losing that energy by coordinating their flaps with their shouts. So every time they flap it emits some air from their lungs which then causes the echolocation call. Pretty cool. Um, now, my final bat fact, because I haven't got much much longer, is uh, how long do you think bats live? Well, a bat not just not a little bit bigger than the ones behind me here has been known to live for 41 years. Yes, 41 years. That's incredible. Um, now, we've only just touched the subject of bats, and they're endlessly fla fascinating creatures. Um, so, if you want to learn more. Why don't you join your local wildlife trust or your local bat group and if you're really keen you might want to think about getting a bat detector so you can actually hear bats as they fly past. Now I hope you've enjoyed our talk and um, I hope that you go on to develop a fascination with bats. Thank you.